because of this pandemic, I know that everyone's equilibrium has been kind of thrown off a lot and um, tensions are easily rising at home and um, you go to the grocery store and it's almost like it's everyone for himself or for herself. And there's just this itching as the weather is getting nicer to be outside and to do the things that we really enjoy doing. And and it has just caused me to think a lot about being intentional. And whenever this first started, uh, and several weeks ago we brought to you some videos, I was just really challenging you to think about how you can live intentionally and live intentionally on mission even in the midst of so much uncertainty. And, and I've thought about some of the ways in which God has opened my eyes to that and has caused me to be intentional in different ways. And, and I had a conversation recently where um, I, had a, I had a trip planned, and I actually had several trips planned, and, and, and it looks like all of them are going to end up being canceled. But um, I called the agent at JetBlue. That's my airline that I have my loyalty with. And um, I called in order to cancel that flight, and uh, she was more than helpful. And while she was looking up my my status and to get my account pulled up, she just simply graciously asked me, well, Mr. James, how are you doing? How are you How are you making it through all of these circumstances? Are you okay? And so I really appreciated the question. And so I started answering and I just said, you know, look, I, I, I'm doing all right. Like it's definitely inconvenient. And um, I really wish that things were normal again, but I, I'm well and I'm blessed and I'm taken care of. Uh, I have a job, I have people in my life who love me, and so I'm, I'm doing all right. I, I mean, and I, and I flipped it, and I said, but you know, really, right now, I just think about you, and I think about your coworkers and, and the people whom you go to work with on a daily basis. I, I said, every time I get an email saying that the company has uh, stopped service to another city or uh, reduced the number of flights out of a particular city, I said, I think about the people impact of that and that there are real employees at JetBlue that would be affected by that. And and so really and truly, like I, I would put that question back to you. I mean, how are you doing? Because I know that this is affecting your industry so much. And um, very unexpectedly, she she began crying on the phone. And uh, through her broken voice, she just responded to me and said, that is the nicest and kindest thing that anyone has said to me at work in over a month. And what that conversation led to was it was a conversation about Easter. It led to a conversation about church, a conversation about Jesus over the phone with the JetBlue agent. And, and I thank God for moments like that. But, but brother and sister, I'll tell you, like naturally, I don't know that I naturally go there in my mind. I'm not this super spiritual person that just gets things right all the time. Because as a matter of fact, just this last weekend, I was at the grocery store and it was actually my first time to go to the grocery store having the one-way directional signs on the aisles. And I, I was having a hard time with it, to be honest with you. And I, I found myself going the wrong way multiple times and I went the wrong way uh, on one aisle and it just made one guy just really mad and he was not pleased with me at all and when he showed his disdain towards me I'll be honest with you in my heart of hearts um, I began really grumbling against this guy and I had very less than holy thoughts towards him because in my mind's eye he was just being a jerk and unreasonable and so I don't share the JetBlue story with you to let you know that I'm always intentional with this and I'm always the reasonable one and the kind one. But it does show what happens when we are reasonable. And, and I really believe that right now in this time where so much is turned upside down and tensions are just high and patiences are wearing thin in our homes and at the grocery store or at our jobs, this is an opportunity for Christians to be the light of Jesus in a different way, in an intentional way. And it makes me think of James chapter 3. Because in James chapter 3, um, James, the half-brother of Jesus, writes this, But the wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, open to reason, full of mercy and good fruits, impartial, and sincere. And so what my encouragement to you is this week is as you're interacting with your roommate, 
or as you are interacting and cooking dinner with your spouse or helping your kids with their homework or trying to help them figure out some sort of equation that you know you learned at some point in middle school but you forgot a long time ago. And, and as those patiences just wear thin or as you go out to the grocery store and it just seems like folks are on edge, I want to encourage you to be the light of Jesus and to carry with you the wisdom from above and to use your words intentionally, your smile intentionally, um, and just your overall gentleness and demeanor to point towards a reason and a disposition that is totally otherworldly, that's outside of ourselves, and to demonstrably show the love of Jesus in a tangible way during this time of social distancing and abnormality. Have a great week.